Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now you've heard of AMD FSR and you've heard of NVIDIA DLSS, but have you heard of Intel's new XESS or, hold on a minute, I, I just need to remind myself what it actually stands for. Intel XESS or Intel XE Super Sampling. Now what this does, similar to DLSS and FSR, is renders the image at a lower resolution internally and then upscales it to fit your display that's the most basic description of what it does now this has been released at least for shadow of the tomb raider and i believe death stranding director's cut at the time of recording i think that game got an update about 10 minutes before i started making this video xess has been released just in time for Intel's new Arc GPUs, which are coming out in a few days. I believe the A770, possibly the A750 as well. But the good thing about XESS is that you don't need Intel-specific hardware to actually run it. It will run on AMD or NVIDIA cards as well. As you can see, I've got the GeForce GTX 1630, one of the more controversial let's say cards to come out in the last few months and XESS is available right now it's currently switched to off if we jump back into the game with it off you can see that shadow of the tomb raider well it's running at around 35 to 40 fps it's okay at medium settings of course we could lower the resolution or the settings if we wanted to but what I'm going to do here is enable XESS and see just how much of a difference this makes. Now I tried it with my AMD 5700G and integrated Radeon graphics and we actually got worse performance. I'm not exactly sure why, probably something to do with the inner workings of that chip, but it is early days of course. Right now we're getting around 40 FPS again with XESS off and the GTX 1630. This is at stock speeds. If we jump back into the menu, and we'll take the MSI Afterburner overlay off screen for a second, and this time we enable XESS, as you can see we've got a few presets to choose from, much like FSR, performance, balanced, quality, and ultra quality. If we go with balanced to start with, hop back into the game, and there we go. The image quality hasn't decreased all that much, but what has increased quite significantly is the frame rate. We're now getting closer to 50 frames per second with similar visual quality. Now I'm pretty excited to see where this goes in terms of game support. If we go back to the start where we were, where we were getting just under 40 frames per second, you'll see again just how much things have improved. Now we're sitting in around 50 FPS, sorry, 45 FPS. Now it is early days for this technology. As I mentioned before, Shadow of the Tomb Raider here does support it and I think Death Stranding got an update this morning but it'll be interesting to see just how many other games and which other games eventually do get this implemented as well because although some titles do have other features available perhaps FSR, DLSS or um, adjustable render resolution like Tomb Raider does here for example we can actually modify the resolution scale it doesn't look as good as when you turn something like XES S on. FSR is only available in select games as well and of course to use DLSS we do need a top tier NVIDIA graphics card. So I think XESS overall it'll be interesting to see just how well it works and which games it supports. I think it's going to help low-end users the most like all of this technology does. I mean, FSR to me has been an absolute lifesaver, especially with certain integrated graphics. And in games that might not support FSR, well, hopefully this can come in and save their old graphics card as well. It's also an alternative to use if you want to try it out and see just how different it looks, basically. I mean, you might end up preferring XESS over FSR in certain titles. What I'm going to do now actually is just change it to performance just to see how high that frame rate will go if we maintain the medium settings. And there we go, look at that. 55 frames per second now 
and the game doesn't actually look that much worse for it. I don't know how it looks to you, it probably doesn't look all that great, especially considering YouTube compression, but to me it doesn't look that much worse than it did at native, and this is still a fantastic game, by the way, fantastic looking game, it's been out a few years now, but even with this XESS implemented, it still holds up really, really nicely. These are my initial impressions on the new technology from Intel. Hopefully we'll see more games implement it and it's a nice alternative to just lowering the render scale altogether and sacrificing some image quality. I definitely recommend testing out for yourselves on your hardware, no matter what you've got, whether it be AMD or Nvidia, maybe you've got an entry level Intel GPU. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to see where this goes and how things improve in the future. These are my quick first impressions then, and a quick idea of how it runs on one of Nvidia's lowest end GTX cards to come out this year. If you enjoyed this one, leave a like, leave a dislike if you didn't. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and hopefully I'll see all of you in the next one.